A big question we get from our insiders when we recommend using weighted weedless hooks for inshore fishing is which one should we use? Now the two big ones that we recommend are the owner twist locks as you can see here and the Texas eye jig heads. Which one of these should you be using? And if we take a quick look at the retrieve you'll be fishing your soft plastic with, we'll know exactly which one of these we wanna use. Now the owner twist lock is a little bit more suited for a constant retrieve. When we think about where that weight is situated, it does not make for a very quick change in depth when you stop your retrieve or if you want it to hang in one spot, it provides a good overall action. And me and Tony have done several videos about adjusting the weight and how that's going to change how your lure falls or hangs in one scenario. And I'll link those to you guys below. Uh, but basically what you're gonna wanna use the owner twist lock for is when you're fishing a constant depth. I find constant retrieves with maybe some pauses if you want that lure to hang in the same spot for a second or two to kind of allow those fish to catch up is when that owner twist lock works really well. If you're going low and slow for redfish, you just reel slower. If you wanna work a little bit higher in the column for trout or maybe some snook that are hanging near mangroves, those owner twist locks work well and you just need to adjust your retrieve in terms of how high or low you want it to go. Now, where you're gonna to wanna to use the Texas eye jig head is when you're bouncing, you're twitch, twitch, pausing, because that jig head does a really great job of shooting down to the bottom really quickly while also keeping your bait weedless. I use these a lot when I'm fishing around oyster bars or if I'm working the bottom for flounder with twitch, twitch, pauses. Again, these flounder key in on the quick movements of the jig head up and down, so the Texas eye jig head works really well in these scenarios. I like these owner twist locks for shallower scenarios. They don't seem to get to the bottom very quickly, so usually when I'm fishing an over three feet, I'm gonna switch over to that Texas eye if I feel like I still need to have that weedless protection. So I hope that gives some clarity on which of these weighted weedless hooks you need for each scenario. And if you wanna pick either of these up, we do have them in the Salt Strong shop at 20% off for Salt Strong Insiders. And if you wanna learn how to maximize your results with these baits and where you need to use them best, I highly recommend you join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club where we have tons of great fishing information that's designed to help you catch more fish in less time and save you money with that awesome insight Insider discount. So guys, thank you again so much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the Salt Strong Insider Club. So if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you'll be catching more fish in less time while saving money on your tackle. We do this by providing you with premium education, an exclusive online fishing community, and access to group discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. We hope to see you in the Insider Club family soon.